returning subscribers that are just tuning back in and stopping by. I thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a new subscriber or just joined the journey, I thank you so much for stopping by. If you've just found my channel, you're in for a treat. I'm out here helping everybody. <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by. For everybody that's been rocking with me since day one, thank you so much for rocking with me. For anyone that's joining the journey and has been rocking with me since you've joined, Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for listening to my content. If it's helping you, I'm grateful for that. If you're able to tell people about it, I'm grateful for that as well. I'm grateful for all of you that come and stop by my channel. You guys all are the real MVP. So today we're going to be talking about soul fates, soul fates, soul fates, the things people don't want to talk about with them and why they're getting a bad rep. So soul fates, why are they getting such a bad rep? Because they are drying. But the point of using sulfates is to cleanse your hair of any product, build up any debris, anything that's going to constantly be there. That's going to block any moisture um, from getting in. Because if you have product build up, what happens is moisture can't get in, which means your hair is going to seem like it's always dry. We'll get into that. So sulfates are good because it helps remove their product build up. You need to be at some point in time in your journey using sulfates. And I'm going to tell you why. If you have high porosity hair, we need to be cleansing our hair with a sulfate once a month because their product buildup, we all get it whether we have high porosity or low porosity hair. It just takes us a little bit longer to get product buildup because that moisture is escaping out. But once it builds up, it builds up. I'll link in the cards my product buildup, um, not my product buildup, my clarifying shampoo routine so you guys can see it when I needed to clarify my hair. And I'm going to talk about those signs as well. If you have low porosity hair, you get product build up a little more faster. Um, again, with low porosity hair, moisture takes a little bit longer to get into. Someone with low, low porosity hair has to work a little bit harder to keep that moisture and get that moisture. I'm sorry, not to keep the moisture, but to get the moisture into their hair. I.e. that's why you have to use heat and steamers and things like that. Someone with low porosity hair, um, a lot of people that I know that I've watched their YouTubes, they have it when I used to think that I had it. Um, they use uh, clarifying shampoos once a week because their product buildup, it comes a bit faster than somebody with high porosity hair. So we, we, at some point in time, you need to incorporate it. And here's the reason why. Let's say you have product buildup on your hair and you kind of just ignore it. Signs that you have product buildup is your scalp is going to be very itchy. It's going to be, your scalp and hair is going to be dry no matter what you try to do. You're going to see like if you watch my clarifying shampoo video, you can see the light that was shining on it. It's going to be like a film over top of your hair. It's going to be like a coating. That's all the products you've been using that are just sitting on top of each other, especially if you're using um, creams, souffles. Uh, hair butters, oils, things like that that are very heavy in nature. Um, they're going to cause you to have product buildup over time. You know, if you heavy handed like I am, you're using a lot of this stuff. So you definitely want to get product buildup. The sulfates work to remove that and work as a team. Now, people say that sulfates are drying and you should use moisturizing shampoos. Now, for someone with high porosity hair, moisturizing shampoos are beneficial because we can gently cleanse our hair and not dry it out because we have to work to keep the moisture in because it escapes so fast. Someone with high porosity hair, they need to, they can use a moisturizing shampoo, but they benefit from a clarifying shampoo more regularly because the moisture has a harder time getting in. So therefore, uh, once it gets in, they get product build up a lot faster. That's just, it's not any rhyme or reason. That's just how their hair is set up. Someone with that hair type and that porosity. Now, let's say you ignore those signs. What happens is over time, that product buildup blocks any type of moisture that can come into your hair. And what happens is your hair, your ends are going to feel very dry and brittle. Your scalp is going to feel dry. And when you have product buildup, you will experience what I also experienced. You will have your, my scalp has been sore for years and I can never figure it out. I would go to hairdressers and ask them because they're supposed to be the experts in this. And they would, they would tell me different things. I don't really remember everything. But I learned recently, no, that's a sign that I got product buildup and I need to clarify a bit more. Once I clarify once a month that pain stops and once it comes back around again, I know I need to clarify. It's not a moisturizing shampoo time or none of it. So with the signs with when you need to clarify, itchy, dry scalp, sore scalp, 
hair feels very just dry at the ends you moisturize it every day and it's like the next day it's like just dry that means there's entirely an oh a film that means there's entirely too much product on your hair and you have to cleanse it off your hair now it says on the back of shampoos you know uh rinse wash your hair lather and repeat the repeat processes because sometimes we can think that when we shampoo our hair once we're getting everything off no your hair might still feel a little itchy after that i shampoo and clarify twice you'll see that in my routine to ensure that i'm getting it off you also there are ways to do scalp scrubs i'm not a, a expert in that area i'm just going to tell you but i have a scalp massager that i use i don't use it often but when i'm clarifying i use the scalp massager to get it off another shampoo that's good to clarify and uh, remove those mineral deposits and remove the things from hard water and things like that that also can stop hair growth as well because moisture can't get in archelating shampoos do not use those very often you use those sparingly i've never used one i want to do a video in the future on using a uh, chelating shampoo to remove any mineral deposits that are on my hair i am almost three years natural so uh, october 6 will be three years natural never used one before but i'm very interested to use one to see how it does with my hair to remove any mineral deposits over this three-year time span that i may have on my hair as well um so we've talked about why they get a bad rep we've talked about uh how often and in regards to build up and things like that some good clarifying shampoos are i use mix chicks anything that has sulfates in it you want to be able to utilize for that um so that you can remove any product buildup or anything like that but when you are using a sulfate sh uh, based shampoo you want to either condition or deep condition that's why they sell shampoos and conditioners you're gonna know you need a deep condition and when you just don't um my deep conditioners they're relatively strong in a sense in regards to what i use with ingredients and things like that so i try to just uh deep condition once a week and um i shampoo twice i'll use a moisturizing shampoo which is basically the equivalent to a co-wash you can use conditioner for co-washes but just be careful about silicones because they can irritate your scalp if you are putting the conditioner on your scalp or it gets on there by accident don't put any type of products on your scalp shampoo yes but like conditioner can really irritate your hair um also um in a sense with that so to my routine um so i'll use the moisturizing shampoo uh two times a week and, and those uh other sessions and time frames and then i'll use the clarifying shampoo as well i've been washing my hair two times a week i just started doing it y'all have not peeped it um my hair is not falling out but the key to washing your hair uh two times a week i require it because my hair just needs it um when it is fully dry like that and my ends are like that um i will wash my hair with a moisturizing shampoo and then deep condition or condition i do that because it just helps replenish my hair a little bit more no i don't have hydro fatigue my hair is still intact but the key to doing that is and where i messed up before in my journey this is a mistake and don't do this i would not stretch my hair i would go in and do wash and goes and then my hair would be wet for days and so i'm causing hydro fatigue and ultimately breaking my hair off because my hair is getting mushy and it's just too wet all the time when i stretch my hair and breathe like what you see under here my hair keeps its moisture in until the next time i need to wash there's some people they're like oh my god two times is too much it might be too much for you but for me it's been helping my hair to grow washing my hair and incorporating in now two times a week of course i spread the times out it's not an everyday thing um the only reason why with clarifying that cut it close with me clarifying when i just washed my hair is because i really needed to clarify my hair so it wasn't any getting around it my hair was very just dry and there was no moisture in here and it just needed to be revived uh sulfate shampoos are used to revive your hair as well so i hope this video was helpful um again i thank you guys so much for tuning in and stopping by with another video um you trying to give y'all more helpful content to just help y'all out because i know this journey can be tough especially when you're learning along the way and i'll talk to y'all soon bye